Hello everyone, my name is Javier and today I'll be showing you just what I've been up to recently while playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Yeah, I brought the old intro back just for today. I hope to get a few videos done earlier, but my health hasn't been the best recently, which has made it hard for me to record audio. So if I sound a bit different, then that's probably why. I've also been involved in a few other major projects that you'll probably find out about soon. So I thought I'd wait until after the first set of balance changes for Relink before I got back into it, since I already knew there were going to be some nerfs and bug fixes coming around. Along with the balance changes, the first update introduced the highest difficulty boss that Relink has seen so far, Lucilius. This fight was added to the proud difficulty in the most recent update, and I bet some of you are reading the title and thinking, yeah, I know what your mistake is, you're still using Jita. But I wanted to see this challenge of only controlling the captain and using starting characters to progress through the content through to the end. So when I started the game up for the first time in a few weeks, I was greeted with a cutscene where Sandophon introduces the Lucilius fight. I didn't really spend much time thinking about things and just ran straight to the counter to start the quest. But that's where I made my mistake. Before I had to take a break from playing Relink, I set my characters up so they could AFK grind proud quests while I worked on my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth review. So my Jita was using a full tanking build with no damage sigils at all. So even though her health was really bloated, I wouldn't really be able to do anything to even scratch the boss. And my other characters were using a mix of Terminus and Ascension gear that wasn't really tailored towards playing normally. I was going to abandon the fight and change my equipment after I realized, but I just decided that I would let things play out until I wiped. But surprisingly, that never happened. Once Lucilius reached 60% health and the fight entered the next stage, I just kept going. It took forever, but both me and my AI characters managed to slowly chip away at his health. I have no idea how I managed to last so long, but after almost 20 minutes of enduring his looping mechanics, we won. The first attempt that I was looking forward to since before release was over. But I couldn't accept this win. This wasn't how my first try was meant to go. So I decided to do my first try again, but this time with my real equipment. So just, just pretend that I didn't already win the fight and watch my real first attempt against Lucilius. Like I said before, ever since I started playing Relink on the PS5, I've been challenging myself to play the game without using any crewmate cards to unlock new characters, while progressing completely offline through the various bosses and difficulty tiers while controlling the captain. So I only have access to the starting characters and Id, who was unlocked through the story. As I mentioned in the previous video, since I control Jita, I wanted my party members to be ranged focused for two reasons. The first being that they can continue to deal damage to enemies at long range. And the other reason was because if they get aggro, the enemy's attacks are less likely to hit me since the other characters are not in melee range. So the characters that I've built up and used as party members for the longest are Rackham, Eo and Eugen. There's a lot to look out for while fighting Lucilius and it is a challenging boss, so expect to die a few times while learning the fight. But as long as you have the Potion Hoarder sigil, you should be able to comfortably farm him without risk of failure once you've geared your offline party members. I have no idea how things would go for online play, but my guess is this quest would be a mixed bag since everyone shares the same revival bar. I'd imagine in coordinated teams you can get through the fight without too much hassle, but with random teams the risk of failure will be much higher until people learn what they're doing. In the most recent update, the captain had a few changes that made them more comfortable to play, which is something I'm getting used to during this fight. Instead of your arts level resetting after using a skill, now you can continuously stay in the highest arts level as long as you use another attack that increases your arts level before it would usually reset. So as long as I kept attacking, I could keep my Adept's art at level 4, which seemed to let me benefit from the Awakening sigils a lot more than before. But since Lucilius loves to teleport all over the place, this did take some getting used to. Now that I actually know the Lucilius fight and I'm not in panic mode, after this attempt I should be able to optimize things a bit more so I can make the fight much quicker and grind for those new sigils. I'm sure the new sigils are good, but I'm honestly comfortable with the loadouts my characters have at the moment. So for now, I'll just keep farming Lucilius to get the materials I need, and then I'll trade for them later once I've decided who will make the best use of them. But let's see how things went with my first real attempt against Lucilius. 
攻撃を無効化しているのだろう今耐える時か原作の力か何をしようとしているまずいことが起きそうだあの羽を破壊できないだろうか
様に散る対処しよう。
And that's the end of the fight. I didn't get any good drops this time, so I'll probably be grinding this for a while. But I guess that now that I've beaten Lucilius, I'm finally done with this fully offline and starting characters only run in Relink. So maybe it's time for me to actually start unlocking some new characters and actually going online to do some multiplayer. Since a few people were curious about the builds I had for my characters, this is what I'm currently using, but I will be adjusting it even more as I continue to find new sigils. I did stream a few weeks ago to test out dual streaming on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time, and the plan was to continue from there, but as those of you saw in the stream, I eventually had to stop because of the constant coughing and it's only got worse since then. But hopefully everything should be back to normal soon, so you'll be seeing more videos from me once it doesn't take me hours to record like 10 minutes of audio. But at the very least, I thought I should actually make this video updating you on how far I've actually come in Relink and why the content has been pretty limited since release. And for those of you that asked me, I did try the new Sword Art Online game briefly and recorded some of the gameplay. I'm still deciding whether I want to actually make a video of it since I couldn't put enough time into playing it during the available time slots, but maybe I'll share my initial impressions of it at some point. And since the Honkai Star Rail anniversary is coming up, maybe now I'll actually get back into the game. I started playing it back when the PS5 version released and I played it for like a month over on Twitch, but I haven't really played it since then so even my reserved stamina is capped. So I'll use this anniversary as an excuse to get back into the game. The last month or so was pretty busy with new game releases and betas, but you'll be able to see one of the other projects I've been working on real soon. So if you want to be the first to know when that's available, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be making some new videos very soon, but for now, here's another that you might find interesting. <laughs> 